not forget to subscribe, click that bell, like, comment, and share. intellectual property asset na kapag isip ka nga okay eh paano ngayon magkakaroon ng intellectual property asset it has to qualify into a certain criteria let us talk about first the literary and artistic innovation it is called copyright and related rights bakit copyright and related rights because uh, example if you have uh, for example uh, movies no you were able to come up with a movie There are related rights because uh, the copyright belongs to the actors, actresses, directors, producers, uh, cinematographers, and all other people involved in the creation of that movie. We call it related rights. Also, in a website, for instance, you have the developer of the website, you have the hosting, you have the, dis the, the content creators. Therefore, there are related rights. Copyright is automatic. Meaning, it belongs to you from the time that you have created it. It is only optional to have a deposit of your copyrighted material either to National Library or the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines. We call them IPO field. It is optional. Therefore, if you go and, and, have a, and give a depository copy, to National Library or IPO field, they will never check the authenticity of your work because it is optional. It is just a depository. In other words, the moment you created your copyright material, you own it at that day. So if you've taken a picture of the sun sunset, for instance, that picture automatically belongs to you on that day. And The only criteria for copyright is a minimal degree of originality. You know that it comes from you, that it is independently created by you, and it is not copied. You, being the creator of the copyright, knows, discerns, that this output belongs to you. Let's go to a technical innovation. Technical innovation is called patents or utility model, and this one has to be disclosed, and it has to be filed at the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines. And there is a process for filing the intellectual property, but it has to conform with certain criteria. The criteria for patents are the following. There are three criteria, and I suggest that you... Remember this, huwag nyo nang kakalimutan. From this day on, write in an imaginary paper and put it, put it in your packet. That's always with you. Three criteria for patentability. Number one, it has to be new. Another term for new is novel. Second, it has to be inventive. And third, it has to be industrially applicable. These three, I will explain in detail later. Because if you understand patent, it will be very easy for you to understand the other type of intellectual property. While for utility model, there are only two criteria. In the previous criteria for patent, we just remove one. We remove inventive, meaning you only, only satisfy new or novel and industrially applicable. So you can, that, uh, that basis, you will now apply for utility model or UM. Next, industrial designs are also submitted to the intellectual property office. Industrial designs are something or everything that is aesthetics in nature or in the in the in the eyes, no maganda design. It can be any form of a 2D, two-dimensional example, prints of your um, prints of textile are called industrial designs, no? A uh, three-dimensional example, the design of furnitures, um, any type of object, example, designs of toothbrush, design of shoes, they are called industrial designs. And we 
file that in the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines. And the only criteria for industrial design is it should be new. So, pabawas ng pabawas yung criteria, di ba? If you meet the three criteria, new inventive industrial design, file for patent. If you only uh, satisfy new industrially applicable, file for UM. If it's only new, file for industrial design. Okay? For the trademark, you also need to file it industrial design. Trademarks are any types of marks. It can be a combination of logos, figures, objects, colors, letters, text, whatever that is vis visual is a trademark. A trademark is something that goes to represent your product. It is a symbol of goodwill of a product. So therefore, you have to continuously improve the quality, high quality of your product so that becomes um, bigger in terms of value from your competitors. So automatically, goodwill, a sign of quality that goes with your product. A, tra a trademark in some countries can be in the form of a, of a shape of a bottle. Example, the shape of the uh, Coca-Cola, the sexy bottle, the Coca-Cola bottle, or the, the Yakult, uh, Yakult uh, bottle is also a trademark. In some countries, trademarks can be audible. Example of audible, like the sound of the um, uh, Intel inside. When you open your laptop and you have the Intel inside, okay, that's a trademark, audible trademark. It's like the Roaring Lion, in the MGM films, is also a trademark in terms of audible. Sometimes we recognize a product based on audio. So in the Philippines, we know it's a selecta when we hear a particular sound. So that's trademarking. Okay? If service mark or collective mark, if there is a group of people or organization that uses a mark. Example, um, example you want to qualify with a fashion design outfit and you can use their trademark it's called the collective marks okay so it's a group of people enjoying a particular trademark what is the criteria it has to be of individual character it cannot be seemingly confusing other types of trademark. That's why there are a lot of people who have cases against trademark, diba? Because you want to confuse your customers, you pre create a trademark almost similar to the trademark of your competitor, so we don't allow that. Okay? Next, undisclosed information or trade secret is no filing. It remains to you as long as you have a protocol to keep it a secret. Okay? Anyways, you can write down your questions later if you have questions. Let's go to the, to the how you do the idea validation in your classes, in your entrep mind and in your technopreneurship mind classes. We call the, we, we use the so-called problem solution approach. We problematize. We identify a problem by starting our ideation process on a how might we statement. How might we solve the waste problems? How might we cater to the needs of women and the youth? And, and how might we statement, we connect it with the sustainable development goals of the United Nations so that our how might we problem addresses a social problem. Then, after your how might we statement, you are now to identify a solution to your how might we problem. Then that solution has to ha needs to be uh, needs to have an intellectual property. Why? Because it is unique from your ideation process. You have use of your brain in capturing the idea. So, dapat, dahil unique yan, di ba? Ang dami natin kin words kanina. It's original, it's it's uh, inventive, etc. 
then dapat you have to be sure that the solution is unique or or new or novel. That's why there's a need to do a review of related literature. Related literature means you have to read. Read. Review means read. Read and read. What do you read? There are two different categories of things that you read. One is a patent database. If it's a patent database that you are reading, then we call it a patent search. Otherwise, if it's not a patent database, then it is called a non-patent search. So in other words, non-patent documents pertains to all documents that are not below, uh, it's not a patent database. So what are these? These are books, magazines, and all types of sources or journals, uh, research publications are all non-patent documents. Why do we need to read those that are patented and not patented? Because not all products are patented. Why? Because there is a law for patent. Give you example of the liquid paper. The liquid paper is done by a simple clerk who always types and makes error when typing. She got tired of retyping when there's an error. And to solve that, in her own kitchen, that clerk formulated the so-called liquid paper. But the problem with the liquid paper or with that girl, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. You can search her, by the way. She disclosed the information to all her friends. We are only given one year non prejudice Non -year, one year non prejudicial disclosure, which means in one year of disclosure, you can still file your patent on or before the end of the first year of the date that you disclose. No, 